Kate Kilmurray here from The Weaving Way, and I'm delighted to take you through this journey that I've just embarked on as part of a collaborative art project. And I received this beautiful letter from Brittany Whitman, and she is an artist, weaver, uh, educator, and author. And she created this beautiful fabric called The Web of Life. And I'm going to use this as my canvas to create a weaving. So I'd like to bring you in close and show you the fabric itself. So this fabric is a cotton polyester blend that was jacquard woven after scanning the original painting and adding a weave structure. And you can see here the bird, the butterfly, the dragonfly, and over here, the ladybug. And it has two sides, and both have different color schemes. And so I've decided to work with this side, and I'll be using a seven by seven metal loom, and then cutting up these strips with my very sharp scissors sewing the strips together, and then doing a continuous weave, which I will then add these beautiful mud dyed loops. So I'm going to take you on the first step of this journey. And this is something I've never done before with this fabric. So it's new right in this moment, the feel and quality of the material and how it cuts is going to be an interesting part of this. So I'm going to eyeball it and begin my cutting process. I wanted to show you the strips now that they've been cut. I think they are so beautiful in this new configuration. And what's coming up for me with this web of life fabric is transformation. You know, by taking my scissors and cutting them, I'm changing the fabric and something new is evolving. And you know, it's really kind of tapping into the mystery. I'm not sure how this is all going to unfold, but it's an exciting part of my creative process. So the next phase of this project is to take each of the strips and sew them together. So um, I'm going to literally take each strip and simply sew in a very um, straightforward way the strips together and this will then create a continuous thread that I will weave. So continuing this weaving journey, I finished cutting up the strips and I have sewed each of the strips together so I have this continuous thread. So I have done an experiment and found that it wasn't quite long enough. So what I've decided to do is bracket the weaving with two of my um, 
loops on either side. So I have these beautiful hand-dyed mud loops that I'm going to place, and you can come a little closer and see how I'm doing this. I'm going to place two on the start, and I have sewn a loop onto the end of this continuous thread, and I'm going to then warp my loom by taking the continuous thread and placing it around the pegs. And I'm being careful to have it uh, with enough tautness so that the thread is straight, but not being harsh. I'm just allowing the fabric to fold over the peg and I'm just letting the material move. And you can see how as I do this, the fabric is fraying. And I actually really love that because the fabric is evolving with me. Something is transforming and it's just from the manipulating of the fabric around the pegs that's creating this beautiful texture. And you can see how the colors of the white and the black and then uh, this very light orangey yellow is coming through in, in a way I never could have imagined. It's really in the moment evolving and creating simple beauty on this seven by seven metal loom. And this is the exciting part of doing this kind of work. It's trusting. I didn't know really how it would evolve and just coming up with an idea, trusting on a deep level that it was going to look good or not. Not everything I do looks good. And then placing these loops on either end. And I have to say, I am really delighted with the rhythm, the texture. I could stop right here. It's just so gorgeous. But I know that to have this be a woven piece, I need to keep going. So I'm going to pause now and be with it and just allow myself to have time to take in what I've created in this moment. I'm moving along with my weaving here. And you can see the amount of threads that are coming because of just the action of in and out, in and out, the plain weave. So I've decided to keep it just plain weave because I really love the texture that's coming with the threads. So um, it takes uh, a, a bit of a delicate touch. I want to lift up the threads uh, that I'm working with delicately. One, so they don't pop off, and two, so I don't create too many extra threads uh, from the fiber itself uh, shredding. So I'm weaving along here and just enjoying seeing how more of the black portion of the fabric is showing through. And so I'm accenting uh, with the yellow here. And then see how I use my hands and fingers to adjust and it's really a very uh, physical activity of getting the alignment that I want because I want to keep a, uh, an evenness to the weaving as I'm going along. So I'll work on this for a bit and show you um, how it progresses. So I'm delighted to show you the weaving that's finished on the loom. And if you come close, I can show you 
the aspects of this that I really love. And that is that as I wove the web of life canvas, the movement of my fingers in and out, in and out, uh, allowed the fabric itself to start to unravel. And so you can see these threads that have come. And what is really meaningful to me is that this is an example of change. You know, the fabric started in one shape and form, and then I cut it up, which changed it, and then I wove it, and the fabric itself created this. It has a new life, a new presence, and the threads to me give a whole other dimension. So I'm taking the weaving off of the loom now. And so I've started on this side and I'm working my way around. And it's an, always an exciting feeling to do the takeoff because the weaving has a certain character on the loom. And when I take it off, uh, there is a transformation. It's like liberating the piece from the one tool, the loom, that uh, holds the piece together. So I do all of my weaving just with my hands, no tools, and it's slower going, but I like it because it helps me to really be in relationship with the fibers and with more complicated weavings with different techniques that I use, it does make a difference in terms of the ability of my fingers to manipulate the loops. So there's a, a relationship that I create, a kind of intimacy with the fibers. And this is important to me, and it's part of what makes it fun and enlivening. I'm in relationship with the fabric. It's speaking to me, and I'm speaking with it. So as you can see, I've taken off the first, second, and third sides, and I'm on the final leg of this journey. So here we go. Slow and steady. Just one loop at a time to create the edging. One loop inside the next. Getting to the last few loops. And this piece will be liberated from the loom. And it takes some physical energy to release it from the loom. So my hands get a little sweaty. So I use my hands now to turn the edge so it's more upright. And I'll do this several times to shape it and form the piece. 
because I want it to be as much of a square as I can. And because I've used the cotton loops and the fabric, that they have a different uh, stretchiness. So I'm shaping. And this last loop, I like to leave as is.